EastEnders spoilers, Carmel K's Emmy set for more heartache after Shea Kilkia's arrest? EastEnders Carmel K's Emmy could be set to suffer even more tragedy from an unexpected source in the aftermath of Shea Kilkia's Emmy's fatal stabbing as she tries to get justice for her son. Shea Kil, played by Shaheen Jafarghali, was tragically stabbed in scenes aired last week in BBC soap EastEnders and the events have understandably taken its toll on his mum Carmel, Bonnie Langford. Photos taken from the set of the soap have shown Carmel and Keegan Baker, Zach Morris, present on the estate where Shea Kill's attacker is arrested in an upcoming episode. Keegan takes Carmel there and he asks her if she wants him to take revenge. Instead, she urgently phones the police and has her son's murderer arrested. Subsequently, it looks as though a court case could be on the cards for the teenage killer, but it might not be good news for Carmel. Patrick Green, CEO of the Ben Kinsella Trust, has opened up about the realities of the criminal justice system when it comes to knife crime. He explained, The idea is that the offender will be caught first of all and will be charged there will be a verdict and they will be sentenced. There is a whole number of hurdles you've got to go through. And in terms of perhaps having your deceased loved one's character being brought into court, the defense will do all they can to put doubt into the jury's mind and that can be really difficult for families and friends to sit through. So it is important I think that viewers see the criminal justice system and how difficult it is to have to go through that process. It isn't yet known if the case will go to court and whether Shaquille gets justice or not is still up in the air. But if it does go to trial, the realities of the law could go against poor Carmel. In Tuesday's episode of the program, further heartbreak befell Carmel when her ex-husband Omar, Silva Razalingam, revealed one of their other sons Kush, Davood Gadami, could be moving to Dubai with him. Kush had told his mother.